Stop me if you've heard this one, A Man in a Dream. It's a familiar story, but I had never had the chance to talk to the man about his dream that became a reality. TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Here we are in, you know, the house that Dean Beeman built, really. It doesn't happen without you. Probably not, no. You succeeded in building a championship golf course. That host, you know, arguably the fifth major. But, but why did we do this? Why did we build this? We built this for the spectator. To create the theater. To come close to the experience that they have with other sports. Better than most. How about in? That is better than most. Better than most! From Beeman's vision, and with the help of Pete and Alice Dye's design, the stadium course continues to produce memorable moments and notable champions. Well, that's beautiful. And that is going to put it away! You too can play where the pros play. About a half hour outside Jacksonville, just a few miles from the beach and the World Golf Hall of Fame, I stayed at the Sawgrass Marriott Golf Resort and Spa, which was recently renovated and provided me with luxury, leisure, and exclusive access to prime tea times. But before I could feel comfortable taking on the stadium course, I sampled a Sawgrass amenity, which had an emphasis on my swing. Travis Fulton, a frequent guest on Morning Drive, is also the director of instruction at TPC Sawgrass. We're pretty spoiled here at uh, Tour Academy TPC Sawgrass. This is a, a special place, two championship golf courses. Tell me a little bit about how they compare and contrast with each other. I think at the end when they play both, you know, the, the stadium, of course, has the prestige of the Players' Championship. But when they play the Valley, they come off that and they say, you know, that was a really fun, challenging golf course that I'd like to go play again and see if I can do a little bit better than I did the first time. From a scouting report on the golf courses to the unenviable task of curing my low cut. Here we go. All right, here we go. Back to, back right to, to left. Work. If this one doesn't draw, he's out of here. <laughs> there we go. That felt That's good. Better. That's better. That was sweet. With a new set of swing thoughts, better ball flight, it was time to get fit for an upgrade on my equipment. What we want to do today is we want to get you in here, we want to take a look at the swing, what you and Travis were working on, and build equipment where at the end of the day, if you put that good swing on it, the ball's going to go for where you wanted it to go. What? What this system does is tells us why the ball's doing what it's doing. For you, it's actually recommending an X-Flex driver, right? And you were worried that your stiff flex was too stiff. We actually have the ability at this location to build the driver on spot. So I'll be able to go back into the build shop, um, I'll put everything together, and then next time you go play, you're gonna have a driver that matches your swing. So fun. And so, with a sense of sawgrass history, an improved swing path, a new driver, and catching the end of the day on the beach, it was time to eat. Down the street from sawgrass is Madure, a popular eatery with the pros. It's clear David Madure understands fine food. We had some fun with homemade pasta. So we're gonna make bucatini. You know what bucatini is? Yes. No. Go okay. slow with me. Okay. So usually what we would do is just let this dry out for a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna do the carbonara. Talk about your relationship with TPC Sawgrass. Starting on that Monday, we'll get we'll get players in here. Adam Scott, uh, Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, and uh, Bones. Yeah, he's he's one of our favorites. He's in three times that week. You're putting meat on Bones. <laughs> yes. That's ready to go. All you need is a fork. How'd we do? You, you get an A+. Plus. How did I do? Are we going to handicap you? Yeah, handicap. Say an 18. You, did, you didn't count a couple balls out of bounds, but, but we'll give you an 18. <laughs> so I'm a bogey chef. I'll take it. A new day and a better than most adventure in the waters surrounding the famed 17th green. With Gordon as my guide, I was going diving for pearls. How many balls do you get out of this lake? There's about... 85 to 100,000. You've never found a tiger ball? Not yet. Uh, speaking of tigers, what about uh, the idea of gators? Well, gators, uh, you have to learn their ways because that gator's got sensors. He's going to know something is in his uh, living room, you know. 
<laughs> I gotta be honest with you, this is not easy to walk. Pack that in there, Gordon. Is breathing necessary? Have you ever seen a gator in this lake? They might not be one here today, but they could be one here tomorrow. And there might not have been one here yesterday, but there might be one here today. This will be fun. Okay. And you'll keep a good eye out for the gators. I, I, I won't let them bother you. Here's your knife in case the gator gets hold. What? Come on, gators. <laughs> Best thing to do is just ease out here and sit down like this. It's really scary down there. It's really dark. Look at that thing. Look how many we got. <laughs> David Hack. Hack. Another David Hack. <laughs> Rhymer. That should go back in the water. <laughs> It's not a bad concept to find a few sleeves before taking on the stadium course at Sawgrass, which recently announced a new playoff format to the Players' Championship. Now it will be an aggregate score of holes 16 through 18. And I had the pleasure of playing one of the most formidable finishes in golf with Jeff Clauck, a local boy makes good on the PGA Tour, whose father was the superintendent at Sawgrass for 22 years. This is home to you on so many levels, right? No question about it. I mean, it's been since third grade, lived here. Grew up mowing the fairways and greens, and this is home. <laughs> now you take the walk to 17. Dream come true, first time you played here and made that walk. No question. 17th hole. What do you got, Alice Dye? Come up. Oh, God, that's... That's not looking too good. Clauk a gracious and patient host, has had his career and life interrupted by epilepsy. Your story, like an Eric Compton or a Jared Lyle, has captivated the, the world of golf and beyond. When 2010 hit, I uh, started developing these complex partial seizures. There's no cure for epilepsy, unfortunately, so you have to either bounce it by medicine, which most people do, or, or try to have uh, the surgery where they can, you know, uh, take an area out. Mine were coming from the left front, so they weren't coming from an easy place to just go in there and, and you know, be able to take the area out. So being that play golf, you know, high motor skills, just decided to get on uh, some different medicine and, and thank goodness the medicine has been, been working well and, um, you know, back to doing what I want to do. Doing what you do. Yeah. Which is play golf. Exactly. This is probably the most uninviting tee shot I've ever had in my life. Perfect for any other hole. <laughs> Get back a little bit of my pride. Salvage some ego. Wow. Thanks for sharing your home with us, really. Great place, for sure. Coming off some bad golf, Cloud told me about the barber chair, where, as the story goes, players have gone to vent their frustrations, which seemed appropriate for me. And at Sawgrass, there's no telling who you might see. Hey, Matt. Man, you look really down. What's up? Well, barber chair, that's what's up. Don't be that upset. It happens. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. Where are you going, anyway? I'm going in the champion's room here. You're not allowed, Matt. Well, that's not very nice. I came all this way, bump into Fred Funk, and I'm thinking, oh, nice guy, maybe I get something special. Fred? 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 <laughs> <laughs>